in terms of luxury three-row crossovers, the Acura MDX is the OG. For three generations, it's been a staple in the premium three-row people-moving market. 2021 sees an all-new fourth-generation MDX that builds on all the goodness of the previous models and elevates the experience inside and out. The MDX is built off an all-new chassis. The new MDX has a very bold look and stance. The wheelbase is 70 millimeters or about 3 inches longer now and the vehicle is 35 millimeters wider. The front hood area has been extended and along with a new sculpted grille it makes for a very athletic stance. I'm really liking the proportions of this whole vehicle. In these days of humongous grills it's nice to see the new diamond pentagon grille that blends harmoniously with the design instead of being the design, if you know what I mean. The front also gets new four element jewel headlights and the same signature chicane inspired daytime running lights found in the new Acura TLX. A-spec models get gloss black trim while others get chrome finishes. Standard wheel size is 19 inch with wider wheels than the current model and 20 inch wheels are also an option. The styling is quite sharp with a nice straight belt line integrating into that sculpted hood. The rear features dual exhaust outlets, a roof spoiler and the same chicane theme in the taillights as well. I recently had a chance to drive that new Acura TLX A-Spec and I really see a lot of that goodness in this SUV. Inside the MDX comes standard power 12-way heated front seats and with the A-Spec that adds ventilation and the advanced package adds power thigh extensions and side bolsters. Here's a very nice feature and unique in this class. The MDX second row can be a bench for three passengers or the middle can be used as an armrest for two passengers or removed altogether. Third row passengers ride a couple inches higher but have a slight increase in headroom and a welcome 2.4 inch increase of legroom over the outgoing MDX. Cargo space behind the third row has increased to 16.3 cubic feet and overall cargo area with the seats folded down is up 3 cubic feet to 71.4. The new model includes the Acura Precision Cockpit which is a complete 12.3 inch digital dash and a 10.5 inch color head up display is also available. The center now sports another wide 12.3 inch screen powered by their TTI or True Touchpad interface. I love that they've retained actual buttons for things like power, volume and seek and the trackpad can be used for handwriting as well. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard as well as wireless charging and built-in Alexa Digital Assistant. Alexa, find me the nearest coffee shop. I found a few nearby coffee shops. Not only does the MDX have a 360 camera, but also a washer for the rear camera. This is essential for our Canadian winters. Under the hood is a 3.5 liter VTEC V6 with 295 horsepower and 267 pound-feet of torque. For the first time, the MDX will come with a 10-speed, wider ratio automatic transmission and that's up from the current 9-speed. That extra gear should create a smoother experience, better response and better fuel economy. The 2022 will have the latest 4th generation super handling all-wheel drive which can not only transfer up to 70% of the torque to the rear but then control 100% of that torque to either side. The front to rear transfer can be also done 30% faster than the current system. Also for the first time, the 2022 will have a double wishbone front suspension. The dampers are connected to new cast aluminum housings which are more rigid providing better operation as well as better noise isolation. Steering is powered by a new belt driven variable electric power steering system for more precise feel and varying ratios depending on driving scenarios. 
The brakes are different as well. The rotors are two millimeters thicker, 30 millimeters larger in diameter, and they now have an electric brake booster, which with the collision mitigation assistant can react 230 milliseconds faster. Well, what does that mean? Well, you can stop 12 feet shorter from 30 miles per hour. Like the new TLX, the MDX will be available in a hotter turbocharged Type S later on next year. The MDX is designed and built in the United States in their Ohio plant. I think the new 2022 Acura MDX offers a lot in terms of style, passenger comfort, technology, safety, and value in the premium space. As for drive, well, we'll just have to wait a little longer to test it out. Thanks for joining us on this very first look at the new Acura MDX. Please hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you on the next Everyday Reviews.